Alright, so this is a demo of the first vision from Notifier. This is the older model, 17 inch running uh, version 1.8.8. The newest version is up to 2.2 right now, and it has a 19 inch touch screen display and a couple other uh, additions to that as well. So, to get this started, basically, when you walk up to the first vision, it'll have the the door itself shut over the display and there is a locking mechanism solenoid in here that uh, if there's an alarm present and you touch the door the solenoid will automatically release the front panel door open so you can access the touch screen without the notifier key so that makes it convenient for first responders uh, like that said we have the campus view here if you had a multi node network with multiple systems you could actually show them here on this map and highlight them with the green square as shown here on this particular demo we just have two so as you select a building on here it'll bring up the floor plans uh, with icons associated to certain things we have an icon here that represents high voltage in this room EE30 uh, we have certain rooms too that we can associate uh, hazmat information with it for first responders so they know what they're getting into before they go into certain rooms. Let's see. Uh, you can also put cameras on here so you can see exactly what's happening in certain areas of the building at any time. And from any time when you're back into the the floor plan mode of a certain node you can always go back to campus view here We'll go back into it real quick, and over here we actually have the floors. So this particular building is four levels. So unlike a, a typical, typical graphic enunciator where you have to represent every floor, it gets pretty large. This one you can have all the floors in one spot. So we can change the floors here. Floor two, three, and four. So we go back to one, and there are other icons you can add, for example, we have a you are here, first aid box, and west hallway entry. And these are just examples. There's hundreds of different icons you can add for different circumstances. HVAC shut off. And another thing, too, that's nice here you'll see you can actually add the phone numbers and the contact names of who should be the first responders or anyone you might need help or access to get into that room. They'll have you can associate the phone numbers and their names right here on this informational screen for each icon. So also up here we've got, um, let's see, start over here. Once you zoom in to a floor, let's say we're zoomed in pretty close here, you can always look up here, it's kind of a small picture, but it shows you with a red box the actual area that you are zoomed into on that floor plan. Uh, if you are zoomed in, instead of zooming all the way back out, which you can do one press at a time, you can always hit this uh, center button right here, and it'll always take you back to the full zoomed out or zoom extent of the uh, floor plan. So here, up here, you can always print any information you have on the screen. If you have a printer hooked up, there's USB ports here. Let's see. You can silence, uh, if the first vision is beeping itself from an alarm, you can silence it there. And this button right here will show you all the the gateway list and the status of everything on the gateway. So there's actually quite a bit of information um, stored there. And with that said, there's even more regards to the building here. If you hit this button, you've got a tab for building information, which will give you a, a rundown of exactly what's at the building. And then you have contact information where you can... Specify the building engineer, the owner, hazmat assistants, basically anyone you want here. You can put their names or phone numbers and any other information you would like to put on there. And at any time, you can always uh, print that too onto a printer plugged in via USB. So we have, um, here. hold on, a little blurry. We have here an event list, which there's nothing going on now, so that event list is blank. But we're going to run through a quick demo here. We'll go ahead and start this, and you'll see what happens is when there's an alarm and you're on the campus view, that green square will start flashing red, showing you where the, the alarm is on the network. So you can go directly into that. And once you're in here, all the devices that are associated with alarms that are actually active will light up. 
You can see them flashing around here. And the most current device in alarm that hasn't been acknowledged yet will be surrounded by these uh, flashing red squares. So it makes it pretty easy to see right off the bat where the device is located on the floor. And then on top of that you can select it and you'll get the description of what it is. Pole station room EE6, first alarm information time 8.58 p.m. And once we have alarms in this demo, you can hit your event list, and then that's where you would have all your different devices coming in at different times. And once again, you can print that off if you need to uh, provide that for anyone. So here, if the first vision's beeping, like I said earlier, you can just silence that beeping here. And that's pretty much it in this demo. We don't really have any other devices we can activate on this uh, this demo, so. Feel free to check it out. Um, hopefully you guys can install one sooner or later. They're actually pretty fun to play with. Um, check out our website for more information.